Oh. If I introduce you guys to this truck, my first truck, or my second truck, big old blue here. Now I'm introducing you to my first vehicle, my original truck, which I have named Frank. This is my 2000 F-150. Um, yeah, there's no bumper on the front right now because I'm figuring out how to freaking attach that Jeep Wrangler bumper over there with the running boards. Had it wedged on for the longest time before, but now I'm actually trying to get it actually permanently attached. So a few years ago, I was driving down the road with a buddy, we slowed down for a construction zone, and my rear end had been chattering for I don't know how long since, apparently since I got, got the truck. Not really, my friend did a burnout with the truck, and my rear end had been chattering. But basically, yeah, my rear end grenaded, not as a grenade really, turned out that the fucking the cross pin for the fighter gears blew up for a broken half, which is why I'll put, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. Like that. And there's no reason why it has that crazy flatbed on the truck. I have to take the bed off to. Well, the bed was rusted anyway, I'll throw a picture of that up on the screen too, but I have to take the bed off me to put the bolt that play a steel and reinforce after the frame rust broke a bit. Now as long as I'm gonna do I put a longer frame on it but this truck seems to get a lot more love and people where I live seem to like this truck a lot more than this truck. There's not much shoot really just the stock V8 but a few basically rebuilding this truck is gonna come in three. It's gonna come in three four four steps. Step one is rebuild the rear end. Step two is find a way to attach the bumper and the running boards. Step three is exa exhaust. As right now it has the stock exhaust on it. So there's the really long pipe and the muffler. Uh, but I do have a crazy exhaust modification. I want to do exhaust. I'm going to cut the exhaust short, uh, going short exhaust. And then close the door jam. Got yeah, this crazy exhaust tip from my friend's dad. So I'm put this bill. Exhaust tip right there. It comes up right behind the cab. That's what I'm thinking there. And then the fourth and final step will be well, uh, brakes. The brakes, the brake pads, at least need to get redone. Need to get replaced. These are all. No, I'm showing him the brake pads are all curled and shot on the side, so. But, yeah, I want to do the exhaust. And this truck sounds too quiet, so when I'm driving this, when I'm driving this truck, I missed the growl of that truck. So, I just haven't started this thing up for a few months. I just reconnected the battery up for a few months, for a few weeks. I just reconnected the battery. Let's see if she starts. Oh, yeah, get the key out. Yeah, I know the tachometers. The return spring on the tachometers broke. This isn't the original gauge cluster for the truck. Steering knob of a tractor. Let's put a key in. This key's in a little sticky. Bad battery. Battery's low. Yeah, battery's low. 
I'll charge the battery up and I'll bring you guys back when I get the battery charged.